Hi guys. Okay, today we have a very cool new gadget to test on the channel. It is this. It is the Find NV200. Uh, it is a uh, night vision and day vision and everything binoculars. It is very, very cool. Um, it can be put on a, bi a tripod. So that's very cool. Um, so yeah, I'm going to tell you about it, show you some videos and everything. And uh, I hope you enjoy. This is the same people that uh, make the night vision that I have also tested that you can uh, clip onto the scope. I will do some videos. I'm combining that with this and do some night pasting. I have had this now for about a week and I have to say, I really, really like it. Um, I've played around quite a lot and it will make a big difference um, when going out at night. So what you get in the box, this is the box, um, doesn't have a lot of hunting type stuff on it, but uh, this can, this will be very useful when hunting, um, especially at night. But uh, what you get in the box is the, the unit. Um, you get a very nice strap that you can put um, over your neck. Uh, this is not the most expensive thing, but it is pricey. So um, I will always put this around my neck when I use it outside, just in case um, accidentally drop or whatever. Um, this is really, really strong. It hooks quite nice and it's adjustable and everything. So I really like the inclusion of, uh, of the strap. Um, I'm just going to put this down. Then you also get a Allen key, little Allen key. You get a warning label, get the instruction manual with a lot of uh, stuffies that you can read through. And then you get a pouch, which is quite nice. Um, it's a uh, softish material outside and a normal inside. And uh, this will um, keep everything nice and safe. And with all of this on, it uh, still fits inside. Before you can use the device, you must just um, here at the side, you must remove the caps and just uh, take out the um, insulation part of the, uh, for the battery and then you are ready to go. Uh, in front, we have the, uh, the, the camera lens. Uh, you can take this off uh, for at night then you want um, as much light as possible to come in. So you'll take that off. That is the infrared um, uh, torch that both of them you can uh, adjust, which is quite nice. Um, at the side, you have a little port where you have your, um, your USB-C charging, which is, which is quite nice. Your micro SD card, a little um, micro uh, HDMI and some earphones. And then at the back, you have where you look into. At the other side, there's just the battery compartment. And then at the top, you have all of the buttons uh, that you can use uh, for the functions inside. Uh, on the bottom, you have a, um, a nut that you can put uh, on a tripod, which is very, very helpful. Um, the only negative thing that I'm going to get out of the way now is this thing is not, uh, does not have image stabilization. So if you zoom in very far, um, it really helps to steady yourself. Uh, yeah, that's basically the only negative that I found. Um, uh, if there's any other thing that I don't like, I will let you know in a future update video. But just basically, if you can keep it steady, that really helps. Um, uh, you'll see that from the videos and everything, I'll say, say when I use it my hand, when I put it on a tripod or what, <laughs> what I've done. And then you also have a laser, which is quite nice. So especially when you're um, at night and stuff and you want to uh, show someone where you want to shoot or where you are looking or whatever, then you can just quickly switch on the laser and show them where you are, um, we are looking. If we press the menu button once, we will get the menu and there we can change a lot of different settings. We can change the frame rate and the definition of the video. We can go into the still image size and change the normal photo. We can put some picture in picture. That is when it, there is a zoomed in image in the, um, in the top of your normal image. Then you can select the lens. 
there is different lenses uh, that is available for the um, for the ND200. So depending on the lens, then you can change it out and just select the new one that you have put in. You can select the units. Do you want yards? Do you want meters? What what are you using? Uh, do you what are the length of the movie clip? And you want it to automatically start recording the brightness and the exposure and date and all of the other different uh, settings that you want to um, once you be able to set, uh, you can do all that uh, on the device. If you hold the menu button in, it will take you first to the video gallery. There will be all the videos that you have taken. Uh, you can uh, look at them and delete them. Then if you press and hold the menu button again, it will take you to the photo part. You can do the same. And then if you hold the menu button again, it will take you to the normal viewing screen. As you can see, there is a lot of different settings that you can play around with uh, in the menu. And uh, yeah, all of that will help you to get a picture as good as you can. I think you waited long enough. I'm going to show you some video uh, in different scenarios of the NV200 in day and night. And um, you can decide what it looks like for you. Okay, so um, <laughs> I just turned this on to see how it works. There at the back you can see 165 meters, my gong. Uh, let's make sure it's zoomed out completely. This is the binoculars audio. We are zoomed out completely. Let's zoom into 165 meter gong at night. See what that looks like. Okay. So that is completely zoomed in. Let's zoom out a bit. That was 20 times. Let's see if we change the focus. If we can get that any better. But I would say, let's see. That is basically what you're going to get on 165 meters. Uh, let's zoom out a bit. There is some grass here in front, you see the very brightness. Um, unfortunately, that is yeah, my, uh, my setup. Uh, the grass is, um, that does make a huge difference, but let's see if we zoom in completely. Uh, the, um, 
the lens is completely zoomed in now it's on flood mode you can see all the grass now on that hey there's there's eyes okay so let's see what that is i think that might be a bunny there's two bunnies i think that is 11 times zoom back maybe to 10 times zoom get both of them in uh, try to focus on them a bit okay but that's pretty cool uh, you can see the bonus it is pitch black I cannot see anything that is I would say there's a hundred meter gong I guess there's another bunny there's a hundred meter gong uh, the 165 is there so that is probably 120 meters maybe so you can see rabbits quite quite nicely the grass is quite long because it has been raining um, I wonder if I can show you that the river is in flood so we currently do not have any water as of this recording okay let's zoom in completely okay now I'm going to up the brightness uh, let's hit that one. So let's see. The river is about 300. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The river is about 300 meters from me. That, uh, sorry, that post is also 300. That's uh, 310 meters about. So just under that should be the river. Um, I'm going here through my, uh, what do you call it, through my palisades for safety we live in South Africa it doesn't help much but yeah um, well there's 300 meters let's see um, that is 200 meters there at the back um, that is the um, the farmers uh, cattle and stuff that they put there uh, let's see if I focus a bit uh, this doesn't have auto stabilization so it is a bit difficult um, but you can use this with a tripod that's pretty cool um, so it's on max power this is the um, focus of the, um, the infrared let's see that's 16 times zoom We'll be able to see stuff. I'll do some recording tomorrow, do some videos and stuff. But this is 4K 30. Always, I always um, tune down my frame rate for the for the night because you want to capture more uh, more light. So there you can see basically uh, that is. Oh yeah, that's also a couple of hundred meters. That's like 230 meters about. Um, I know there are some cattle at the back. Um, but yeah, I'm completely zoomed out now. You can just see. I am completely zoomed out now. And uh, you can see that is past three uh, to um that is about 110 meters there that's 100 meter going that's just behind it um there is the pole that is 300 meters and then well the dark part you can see behind there is the river that is about 300 meters then the other side of the river is maybe 500 meters 600 meters so yeah, this thing goes far at 600 meters there at the back um, don't know if you'll be able to see that uh, on the uh, computer but if I look through the uh, through the screen it is clear as day um, I just want to go a bit wide 
close let's see if you are writing maybe in a tree or place close let's turn maybe like that however of zoom if you want to see what is in the tree there um, let me focus maybe focus and then we uh, take it a bit back uh, put on power one that's still a bit too much so yeah power one is still pretty much a lot of power on 150 meters so, uh, let's focus update it's 12.5 pound zoom Well, you can see the barbed wire fencing there is the gong well, I can barely make it out from here with my eyes you can see the hits on it well it's not much hits it's more like the paint coming off from the rain and stuff rusting but that's pretty cool I would like to see if you can use this for 100 meters shooting during the day you'll be able to see the holes we are back at one time zoom I'd say this thing is flipping awesome um, there is the 100 meters the 165 uh, they stole my 200 meter uh, so yeah that's not so nice but there is the bunny again yeah there you can see it bounce bounce zoom in a bit we zoom in focus sorry not to lose the burning um, well you get the gist uh, to try and make nice recordings is bit more difficult but that's not bad you can make out the ears the eyes the head 120 meters I can see nothing like that <laughs> um, I think I'm going to pull out my phone and just make a recording here There is the. Uh, let me just focus on the screen. I'll try and focus on the screen. There is the bunny there in the middle. 120 meters. It's a bit difficult to do that. Um, wait, maybe that will work. I think so. Sure, if I go there, that's basically dark darkness. Um, yeah, and this thing makes it look makes it look daylight, basically. Overall, I really, really like this little NV200. Uh, I am going to use it in my next uh, night video, so be sure to subscribe if you want to see that. Um, I'm really looking forward. It's just very wet and everything currently. So as soon as it dries up, then I'm going to make a plan and uh, get that video done for you guys. And then finally, I just want to thank OneLeaf.ai for sending me this. Um, this is a very, very cool gadget and I'm going to use it a lot. I'm going to um, try and use it in most of my videos to get you some uh, up close shots um and we will see how it works if there's any issues and stuff i will uh, report back to you but so far this thing's battery lasts quite a long time uh i've been playing a lot of, um, around with it and i haven't um drained the battery yet so that's a couple of hours so that, <laughs> that that's that's very nice 
Uh, so the battery lasts quite long and USB-C charging is very nice. So then you can just have a battery pack with you, um, put it in and you can even extend your battery life even longer. So if you have any questions about the NV200 or anything else, you want to see anything um, you want me to test, uh, you can just leave that in the comments down below. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.